Well, good morning. Today is vacation day number five, fourth day on the water here, and uh, we are heading to Tortola. We have an excursion planned. It's not an intense one. We had a different one planned. This one's a little more chill. We were able to switch it up there at guest services or at the excursion desk. We're going to get a tour of the island, end up on the beach, have some fun there. But one thing we have not tried yet is the room service. The room service is free. Um, if you want breakfast, you actually fill out a card with everything you want. And as long as it's on your door by 3 a.m. according to the paper, they'll deliver it. We just got it in. So let me show you what we got. Okay, we got two different trays. Here's the first one. We got various drinks. This looks like a metric ton of butter. Got some fruit. Give us a jug of coffee. And this is tray number two. We got some cereal going on here. Feels like we got all sorts of... We got plates of donuts. Croissants. So this isn't a hot breakfast, but... Got a couple of danishes. So, I don't think we're going to go hungry. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yum. We got some bagels. So, we got quite the spread. We're going to fill up. That way, we can have an amazing day at port. This is going to be our first port day since we've been on the ship. So exciting. And this is the view out of our veranda. That is the beautiful Tortola. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Looks like we got a Norwegian cruise ship on the other side. We're all docked. I slept right through it. I didn't even feel the docking process or anything. So there's Tortola. We're going to explore it. It is going to be an amazing port day, and we hope you join us on this adventure. It's going to be awesome. We're heading down, going to meet, and then we're heading on the island. And we're lined up to do the excursions, and it looks like you can buy bottled water while you're out there and also like this really cool Disney Cruise Line cooler bag. The bag's 18, water's 275 a piece, you can get a six pack for 1375. So if you didn't bring your water, you got a little kiosk here. Oh when we checked in, they gave us a sticker. We're here in the Walt Disney Theater. This is our seating area, kind of staging area before we go on the island. We are Pumba, who's purple. Let me see your sticker. Can I see it? It even matches your cover up. That's right, so cute. We have made it off the boat. We're heading to our excursion. Are you guys excited? Man, it's warm. What would you say it is? Oh, probably at least 75. Yeah, it feels great. I don't know, it looks like the maintenance crew is out here keeping the boat nice and shiny. Look at that. Okay, we are officially off the boat and we are heading to our Totola excursion which we'll show it to you, but it's like a bus tour. And then we ended a beach that we can chill at, so I'm really excited. It's probably about, I don't know, maybe low 80s right now, but it feels great. Can't wait, it feels good to be on some solid ground after the boat's been rocking all this time. And this is Tortola, we're getting closer to it. But beautiful, beautiful countryside. Some cool old buildings too. And off in the distance, it may be difficult to tell on camera, but a lot of the buildings are painted like pastels and other beautiful colors. We're here on Tortola. We're just about to go through the gates. So exciting, I can smell that ocean air. Got some uh, beautiful sunshine, a little bit of a tropical breeze. And this is it, we're crossing the threshold. This is so cool. What's your first impression? It's beautiful. It's so cool with all the pastel buildings and oh my goodness. I can't wait to explore some more. Beautiful little town. Okay, we're heading to our tour bus. It looks like it's kind of a open air thing. So neat. I love the buildings here. And there's, we got some Pirates of the Caribbean theming on this one. And this is our bus we're getting on. Loaded up, are you guys excited? Yeah! Heck yeah, we got an excursion. I'm gonna go see the island. Okay, we're in the back of our bus right now. And we're taking off. I guess we're gonna go through some different terrain, up and down hills, all around. It's gonna be fun. And off of the distance there is the fantasy. I'll 
Don't drop your phone to speak your language. Oh, we can see Dumbo on the back there. There's our boat, the Fantasy. That's what I always do. And it's parked right next to the Norwegian Cruise Line. Oh, look at that water. It's so blue. That's amazing looking. And from the looks of it, we drive on the left side of the road here. Still making our way up a mount, mountain hillside, and the road is super narrow, and cars are coming the other way and just barely scraping by. Most of the cars are pretty small, but a little bit of a wild ride here. Wow, oh, we take a little stop here and see what a beautiful view. That is amazing. So as you can see, we got beautiful water in the backdrop we're here on the tour bus what an amazing view this is awesome up here I'm totally loving it we just had a little stopping point kind of seeing some of the sights and we're gonna continue on this is awesome beautiful beautiful countryside Maybe be kind of hard to see on video, but it's been a little harebrained. This road we're on is barely big enough for one vehicle, let alone two, but they keep squeaking by cars left and right. It's kind of, kind of interesting. But we're heading downhill, going to the beach. This has been a fun tour though. Beautiful sights. So this is called the Painted Wall. Let me give you a shot of it here. That was such a fun bus ride. Uh, it's a little harrowing. There's a lot of switchbacks and downhills and uphills and uh, uh, near misses with cars, but that was a lot of fun. Now we've made our way down here to the beach. We got about an hour and 45 minutes or so until we got to be back on the bus to take us back. So we get to swim a little bit, get a beach chair, and enjoy some sunshine, but this is amazing. Wow, look at these beautiful beaches. Got palm trees. This is definitely paradise. Paradise on Earth. How was the bus ride? It was so fun. Like, you should do this tour for sure. This is so neat and we got to see a lot of like the local neighborhoods and stuff and there's still some damage from some hurricanes but it looks like they're fixing it up. It's so beautiful out here. How awesome was the view of the cruise ship from up top? Wow, oh, it was, that was amazing. 
you could see how big the cruise ship really is. It's giant. Nice. So and look at this view. Now we're out here in paradise and we're going to enjoy the day. I never really loved the sand. She's already digging. This is her paradise here on the beach. Definitely take the bus tour around Tortola and they bring you on this beach here. It's awesome. I hear some live music in the background. I'm gonna go check it out. So cool, we got some live music here. This looks like a restaurant where they're playing the music here. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go venture out into this water. It's so clear and blue, it's amazing. What a tropical paradise. So we just swam in the amazing blue water out there. It was awesome. It was a little chilly at first, but you get used to it really quick. But it's beautiful, it's blue. What a tropical paradise. We're really having a great time out here. Definitely come out to the beach of Tortola, it's worth it. So picturesque and such a good time. Okay, we're wrapping up with the beach here at Tortola and it was amazing. The swimming was great. It's nice and warm. Just a wonderful time. We Everybody got in the water and uh, Got paradise in the background, how amazing is that? We're heading back down to the town proper and then we're gonna explore that area, maybe get a bite to eat before we have to get back on the cruise ship, so it'll be fun. Okay, and we are taking off and heading back. corners we go down it's pretty sketchy it's like an amusement park ride there's some music it's kind of loud in the background but we just got off our excursion and we had a great time now we're gonna explore Totoro a little bit, and maybe get a bite to eat here in the city okay Graham family we just finished our Tortola excursion Kara what did you think I thought it was amazing. It was super fun. Like if you're scared of heights, I don't think I'd recommend it, but um, <laughs> you you go down some crazy like hairpin turns and super steep hills and um, you know, they just zoom around and it's the whole thing is really fun. Um, plus the beach that they took us to, amazing. The water was warm and a white sand beach just something I've never seen in my lifetime and may never not see again, so I took it all in. What was your take on the excursion? I think it was like the most amazing, beautiful thing I've ever done in my whole life. Number one, if you're a thrill seeker, this is the excursion for you because this ride is crazy to the beach. And then once you get to the beach, it's all peaceful. It, it changes very fast. Uh, and then it's all chaos again when you're riding back to your where your ship is docked. But um, it was such a blast. They had really good music playing um, and all the shops and all the people are so kind and I loved it. <laughs> what did you think of the excursion, Olden? It was so fun. It was really awesome. Um, I, me personally, I'm actually kind of scared of heights. So it was a little bit scary on the way there and on the way back, but the beach was so much fun and the water was super nice. It was awesome. Awesome, do you like swimming? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. What, did you, what did you find in the excursion? Can you tell daddy? Oh, she found some sea stuff, some shells. She likes building sandcastles and playing in the sand, and she found some sea trinkets. That is so much fun. That's what you got. 
So we just got through with the excursions, had a great time. It's quite a windy road in this tour bus, this mini tour bus that's open-sided. Um, there's not enough room for both cars, so you're kind of slinking by other cars, but that's half the fun is getting there. It's a little bit of a wild ride. And we got to the beach, beautiful white sands, got music in the background. Amazing time. We did some swimming and exploring the little area, and then they drive you back. But definitely, it's, it's way more low-key than I had thought, which is nice. Um, we had, we're going to schedule one where there's a lot of hiking involved. I'm glad we did this because we're still rested, and we still got time to explore the town itself. So we're going to go get a bite to eat and uh, see what else the town has to offer. But so far, beautiful destination, and I just feel so lucky to be here right now. It's such a beautiful location with the family. So thumbs up. And this view is amazing. There's our boat off there in the distance, the Fantasy with Dumbo on it. But look at these beautiful, beautiful waters. So it's kind of a, got a green tinge and pitch, picturesque. But what a beautiful locale. I love it here. So we're exploring some of the back streets here. Looks like there's a lot of places to eat and drink. There's some live music out there, which is pretty cool. But we're going to try to find ourselves a bite to eat out here. We're walking around here trying to find a place to eat. If anybody has been here before, what would you recommend or what have you eaten before? We'd be interested. From the looks of it, we're going to try Max Restaurant here kind of in the heart of town. Well, it smells delicious in here at least. Okay, we're sitting down in a little place. There's some music in the background. The kiddos got some grilled cheese. That's a local flavor. Mama got some mac and cheese. How is it? And then I got a club sandwich and oh man, that club looks amazing. Wow. I don't know if that's native to this, but uh, it definitely looks good, so I'm hungry. And I also got kind of a unique drink I've never seen before. This is called Caribbean Cool. And it kind of tastes like uh, iced tea mixed with a little black licorice. So it's definitely unique. But we're gonna enjoy some lunch here before we continue on the day after our long excursion. Hi, Evie. We just wrapped up eating lunch, and we got kind of some boring selections, just some grilled cheese and some club sandwiches. Really good nonetheless, really good flavor. Um, just needed something in us after that uh, long excursion, so we're gonna explore a little bit more and maybe check out some gift shops before we board back on the ship. Okay, we're gonna head into Kenny T's gift shop. We got various Tortola merch. You can get a tank top for 20. Some women's Tortola shirts, 20 bucks. Nice. Got some uh, cool bags. Oh, I think I'm gonna get this. They even got cute little dolphin ornaments. It's kind of interesting, this is this little gift shop we were just in. It reminds me of a lot of the Oceanside towns we go to. Similar souvenirs, just t-shirts keychains and stuff so even though we're on the Caribbean very very similar and here's our beautiful ship looks like the other one took off but this is the beautiful fantasy and it if you take a look it looks like Dumbo he may be painting the side of it with his snout that's really cool so we're heading on back from Tortola boats still docked here we don't have to get on till 5:45, but there wasn't a lot of shops to see too much. Um, so we saw what we saw, had some lunch, and now we're on our way back to the boat. Tonight is definitely a special night because it is pirate night. We're gonna be all dressed up in a pirate garb. And we've been practicing our R's. So that should be fun. We're gonna head back to the stateroom. Maybe chill for a moment, just recover from this. And uh, look at that water. Isn't that gorgeous? Today we just got back to the room from our excursion and it is pirate night and they have laid out our pirate bandanas already. That is so awesome. We're going to be getting ready for tonight. That's going to be amazing. There is some pirate music in the background because it is pirate night. We're just a couple hours away from dressing up and going out for pirate night. But once we got back from Totola, we spent a lot of time in the pool. I was able to also ride the aqueduct for the second time and I was able to take the GoPro. Your mileage may vary. I use like this neck sort of harness and they accepted it, but they want a chest harness. So keep that in mind.
Um, that was fun. Got to spend some time in the hot tub. Now I'm going to do a little bit of exploring solo while the kiddos are doing something and the wife's doing something else. They even hit the gift shop. So pirate night is getting close. And it's pretty loud in here, but the kiddos are meeting Pirate Goofy. And since it's pirate night, there's a lot of pirate meet and greets, including Jack Sparrow. He's out here. That's really cool. Okay, Kara's birthday is in two days, and when we were at Disney World two years ago, we got her a really cool Anfa black backpack for her birthday. Well, she saw one in here she really liked, so we're gonna get her one of these. She was looking at one of these Disney Cruise Line lounge flies and said that's something she'd like. So, we're gonna get her one of these as a surprise for her birthday. Her other one seems in good use. It's wearing out a little bit, but yeah. I think she'll really like this and we'll get her some breakfast in bed and then present her with one of these gifts in a couple days. Okay, we got it all purchased. They don't act, offer any gift wrapping, but if you buy a reusable bag, the cashier was so nice and packed it with tissue paper, so it kind of looks like a makeshift gift bag. Plus, she got the mouse on it, so hopefully she'll be excited. Yeah, as you can see, we're all dressed up for pirate night. Everybody looks great. How we doing, pirates? Oh. Arr. Arr. Give me your best R. <coughs> oh. Give me your best R. Oh, that's a good oh, one. Yeah. I'll give a wicked Oh, yes, it can! And then 
just did. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Ken. Right to the Just saw the Mickey Pirate Show. It was awesome seeing all the characters out there that defeated Captain Hook. We really had a good time, and now there's a pirate photo op with like a pirate ship in the background and a skeleton. We're gonna take all in our pirate gear right before we go to dinner there at Royal Port. There's the cutest pirate of them all, Evie Rose. Give me your best R. Oh man, that's a fierce one. And these are the different backdrops you can get. There's a pirate back there, they got the galley of a ship. And then this looks like Jack Sparrow's treasure room. Really cool. We just got our photo taken for Pirate Night. Now we're headed to Royal Court for dinner. Okay, this is the Royal Court. It looks very royal. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. We're, we're pirates. So this is the Royal Court. We haven't eaten here before. It's going to be a first for us. Here's a peek at the menu, their specialty drinks. For, I've heard that the breaded deep fried brie is really good. Also got a French onion soup, a salad, let's see here. Got some con chigle pasta, I probably pronounced that wrong. Some salmon, roasted duck breast, rack of lamb, and a roasted filet steak. And they also have some lighter notes and vegetarian options, so. I don't know, I'm super hungry, so we're gonna have to hook it up. Bread service is fresh country bread with olive spread. Ooh, yum. We were just talking about the de decor here in this restaurant, um, and one cool thing is the bread basket's very unique. It looks like, like a little carriage with the wheels to carry your bread to you. That's really cool. So the kids have a special Lightning McQueen menu here, and their offerings are all sorts of different things, some smoothies, some broccoli cheddar soup, which the kids just love, not. Mac and cheese, some pizza, some grilled beef tenderloin pasta, and then they have their own dessert menu as well. So I don't know if this is for the Pixar Day at Sea or if this is always at this restaurant. So our first course came out and this is the deep fried brie with a dipping sauce. I love brie cheese by itself. I love it, especially when it's baked. Um, but this looks amazing. We're gonna cut into this and see how good it is. So you can tell from my plate it was terrible, but that baked brie <laughs> is delicious. Definitely something to check out. We finished up with the brie and now we got some French onion soup we're about to dine on. Delicious. The main course has arrived. We're getting some fresh ground pepper on top of there. Ooh, delicious. We got some potatoes, some green beans, a little bit of sauce, and some delicious meat. So I can't hold back any longer. This is gonna be great. Well, I'm tapping out. Main course was delicious. The beef was on point. Beautiful, tasty mashed potatoes and the green beans, spot on. So I wanna save some room to dessert. I don't wanna overdo it. I had most of my plate, but it was excellent in my opinion. Probably one, I don't know if it's the best, it's a bit, I'm gonna have to do a power ranking of the different meals we've had. Um, this is definitely up there though. So Holden's looking at the dessert menu and it looks like an official sealed letter. What's inside? Oh, and it's got Cinderella's. Okay, let's see what's inside. It's the dessert menu. Grand Marnier souffle, apple tart tatted, Tahitian vanilla creme brulee, strawberry shortcake sundae, classic opera gâteau, and dual chocolate slice. Ooh, delicious. Bounty of dessert has arrived. We have a strawberry sundae. Oh, look at this guy. We got this delicious item right here. Ooh, yum. We got that. It looks like Winnie the Pooh's honeycomb. We have, this is some strawberry creme brulee. And whatever that chocolate is, it looks amazing. Gold flakes. Gold flakes. And we have this sundae. 
Holden likes Sunday, so he got his own. Strawberry shortcake. Delicious. So we're going to sample all these and let you know what we like. So judging by the plates, you can kind of tell the most delicious. A little bit of everything. Star of the show, the tiramisu. <clears throat> Holden's enjoying his strawberry shortcake Sunday. We got another one over here. These were all really good, but that tiramisu is delicious. And I don't know if I'm saying that right, but... One thing about tiramisu is that a lot of the times they don't taste like espresso. This one really did add a good coffee flavor to it, which made it even more enjoyable. And I don't know if it showed up when I, on the original clip, but it had some gold leaf on top, so that makes it extra fancy. What do you think about the dessert? Delicious. Really good. Um, I, I liked all the options, actually, except for I wasn't a fan of the apples or the sundae. But everything else, delicious. So this was our first time at Royal Court, and the meal was excellent, appetizers were great, dessert was on point, service as always was excellent, um, got nothing bad to say, it was really, really good. Of the three core restaurants that we go to, that we rotate through here on the ship, um, I'd have to say Enchanted Garden has been my favorite so far, but this was great as well, so um, I enjoyed it, I'd like to come in for breakfast maybe one time. Okay, are you so we're wrapping up here at Royal Court and we have some more pirate activities ahead of us including a rumor of fireworks. So we're going to head up to the upper deck and see the second sort of pirate gathering tonight. All in our pirate garb. I got my snazzy shirt on. Bye. Okay, we made it back to the room and look at this character. It looks like a ruddy old pirate. Wow, look at this guy. He's got some eyes that are gold coins. He's got his pirate headdress. We got golden coins. And we got some golden coins. Ooh, Pirates Ooh. night. We got some booty. Yeah, we do. Come here, come here, come here. What, what, what? This stuff is very cute. Oh, <laughs> and her stuffies are set up again. And look at the fox. He's covering his eyes because he's tired. That he's is so got sweet. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> today but who can tell what lies ahead here's luck and a fair wind to you and remember dead men tell no tales <laughs>
Well, we just finished the pirate party and it was amazing. I think the highlight for me was not only dressing like a dapper pirate, but also the fireworks as well as the dance party they had afterwards. They had a bunch of techno music and a bunch of dance music and people were jumping around and having a good old time. There was a lot of people out there. What did you think of the pirate party? No, really super fun. Good music, a good crowd. It's fun to see everybody dressing up and all their costumes, what they put together. Some go all out, some just, you know, put a bandana on or something. And yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, and if you don't have anything, they do give you these bandanas. They gave us five of them in our room, but we already brought our own pirate gear as well. Arr. So that was a fun day. Today was amazing. Started out with Tortola, which we really enjoyed. That was an amazing adventure. And then we had all sorts of different stuff going on including pirate night we got some good pictures as well and so we'll have to show those to you but it was a great day if you like this type of content give us a big thumbs up that definitely helps the channel and if you're not a subscriber please do and make sure and smash that bell that way you can join us on our next adventure thanks for watching off in the distance she has sprinted ahead oh. to check her fish extender to see if she's got any goodies. Did you get something? Earlier we got some bubbles which she used on the deck of the pirate party. What'd you get? But now she is so <laughs> excited. What did you find? You got a bracelet? She got her bracelet so she likes to run ahead and check it and see what kind of loot everybody got. But she got so her bracelet cool. tonight. That's so cool. That's so nice to somebody huh? <laughs> It's like Christmas every day when we go to the room. <laughs> so cute. She's even tried to steamroll over a couple people that were in the way <laughs> just to get to the door. Yeah.